Good morning. I look like a right state, don't I? Bloody hell. I'm actually sorry that you see me like this. It's not normal for me to look this bad. So, good morning. Hello, everyone. I am sorry about this. This is not... Um, should we take the hair out and see if that makes it any better? Oh, yeah. Love that for me. Do you ever get that when you just haven't washed hair for that long that your scalp's itching? No, just me. Okay, then. Uh, right. So, as you can tell by the title, I'm having a little bit of a um, glow up. Because if you didn't know, it's my birthday on March 20th, Pisces Queen. Pisces are the best star sign. And literally don't even argue with me because they are the best star sign. Pisces are the most giving, kind, thoughtful, generous, selfless people. And I'm happy to be part of that group. Pisces men, on the other hand, though. <laughs> Not me saying that on my granddad's birthday is on the same day as mine. Before we do get into this video, I just want to say that it is sponsored by Coco Neve, which is literally my favourite fake tanning brand, but I will talk to you more about that in a little bit. So we're going to start with the first and most vital task, which is dyeing my hair, because my roots are coming in as well, and I just look like I'm going grey, so let's go and try and dye this. I am wearing a t-shirt with pugs and little hearts on, that is correct. Ow, I haven't brushed this in like three days. Ow. Bleeding out. I'm an absolute state. Lockdown's ruined me. I'm currently sat on a stool with a towel on top of the stool, with the stool on top of a towel that's on top of a rug that's on top of the floor. Because if I get any more hair dye on this floor, my life will not be worth living and I think Lou will be filing for divorce. So, yeah. So I best not take any chances, really. I haven't done my hair in ages, so my roots are very grown out. I literally look like I'm going grey. That is what I look like right now. Uh, but I like a state, so I'm going to go and then get back to you when I look like more of a state. So, three, two, one, I'll have magically dyed hair. Ta-da, my hair is all dyed, all done. It's going to be all over my face, I'd imagine. I've got it like all down here, I've got it all over my legs. It's everywhere. I don't know why I always get hair dyed literally all over the place when I do it, but just kind of like my signature thing now I think. I'm not going to bore you with all the details of how I wash, dry and curl my hair because I've really done that in another video so I'm just going to go wash it, use all my products, put it in pin curls and then I'll get back to you. If you want to see how I do all of that I'll leave a link in the description to that video. So my hair is all done, all of my pin curls are in as you can see which means I just get to sleep looking like this. Isn't Lou so lucky getting to sleep next to this? I know. I know she is just the luckiest woman in the world. I know, I know. Now I'm doing fake tanning with my favourite fake tan ever, which is obviously from Coco and Eve. You guys have seen me work with them before and it is a brand that I absolutely love. I've put everybody onto it. Lou uses it, all of my friends use it, my family use it. Everyone loves this product because it is literally amazing. I'm also be telling you about their new fake tan drops that you can just put in any moisturizer and turn it into a fake tan. It's completely customizable. You can use like one or two drops for a really light tan. You can use a few more drops to get a dark tan. This is incredible, I love it. So before I start tanning, I wanna tell you a little bit about this fake tan and why I love it so much because this is, in my opinion, the best fake tan on the market. I love it, I think it's incredible and there are so many reasons why. It has no nasties in it and it is 100% natural DHA. It has no sulfates, no chemicals, no parabens, no harmful chemicals in the bottle, which so many other fake tans have. It's cruelty-free and vegan, it lasts a really, really long time and it dries so fast. You know how you put some fake tans on, they're sticky for like an hour afterwards and you're like I don't want to get dressed and you're like walking around like this this doesn't do that you can get dressed like that this also has a unique cell shape technology I'm pretty sure that's how you say it which helps get rid of cellulite it also blurs pigmentation and just makes your skin look beautiful this also smells really really yummy you don't smell like a biscuit tin after you've put it on and as for the fake tan for the face I love this because again it has no toxins it has no harmful chemicals and who wants to be putting harmful chemicals on their skin not me, personally, not me. It's also formulated with hyaluronic acid, which is an incredible skincare ingredient, and also dragon fruit, which really gives a like 
glow to your skin and just makes your skin look absolutely beautiful. So I'm actually going to tan my face first because I like to wash my hands after I've done this to make sure like I don't get tan on my hands or anything like that, just to be on the safe side. So as I said, you can use any moisturiser. My favourite one is the Charlotte Tilbury moisturiser. I love this for night time. So I'm just going to take like a pea-sized amount of moisturiser, the same amount I use on a daily basis, and then there's a little squidgy thing on the bottom which you just press which will give you little drops of product. I think I'm gonna use, I'll use two drops today. We'll, we'll keep it light, we'll keep it fresh, because I did use this the other day, so my face is still looking a little bit glowy, just like so, make sure it's all mixed together, and then I'm just gonna apply it to my face like a normal moisturizer, like no different. And I'm also gonna apply that down my neck and to my ears as well. I like to make sure I blend that right into my hairline as well. So it looks really nice and natural. Now that is all applied, I'm just gonna go wash my hands. And you can already see that my skin is glowing. This has amazing ingredients in it, I love it. It's like a skincare product that makes you look pretty as well. Okay, now that I've washed my hands, I'm gonna apply a fake tan to my body because as you can see, I am the palest person in the entire world. Like, I am just so pale. Light is literally reflecting off of me. Like, literally. I am almost the same colour as this type of cream. Like, I'm blending into the walls behind me. You know what I mean? That isn't a vibe. That isn't what I'm going for. So I just applied my CeraVe moisturiser to my hands, my elbows, uh, my knees and my feet just to make sure that tan doesn't stick to anything, any dry patches. So the mitt I'm going to be using is the Coco Neve Mitt. I love this mitt because it is a velvet mitt which makes sure that your tan goes on literally perfectly. It's amazing. And it also has a thumb which just means like going around things is just like you know what I mean just like so much easier it just makes the application so much smoother like around the neck and everything as opposed to just like trying to like get in all the crevices it just this works better for me I much prefer it and then I like to use the kabuki brush for my hands on my feet just to make sure it looks really really flawless and that my tan goes on really seamlessly I'm trying to give the bottle a little shake look at that I really need to start going to the gym and I'm gonna apply two pumps onto my mitt and then just start applying it this literally smells like sweets. Like, it just smells like you want to eat it. And can you see how nicely that blends? Like, oh my god, it looks beautiful. You can already see the difference. Like, look at that. It's beautiful. It just looks like a second skin. I've never used a tan that is this gorgeous. Like, literally, look at that. Literally, look at that. Like, that's just, like, two seconds, and you can see the colour difference, and you can see how well it goes on. There is no patchiness at all. It just looks beautiful. It literally just looks like my skin. It doesn't look any different. I love this product so much. So I'm going to go ahead and finish fake tanning the rest of my body and then I'll come back to you once I'm more bronzed and looking a lot better than this. Okay, I'm all tan now. I'm looking a lot more golden and a lot better than I was a couple of minutes ago. This is not from the tan, by the way. If you can see this little mark here and this one here, I'm actually allergic to gluten. And if I eat gluten, I get this like massive, like big rashy mark on my neck. I know, fun, right? I know, I know, I know. It's gross, whatever. But the tan has gone on really nicely. I can't wait for it to develop and for me to look all nice and brown because honestly, I hate being pale. I wish, like, one of the features that I wish I had was to be, like, naturally tanned, um, but that is just not going to happen for me, so I use fake tan instead. So I'm just going to leave this to develop for probably six hours. I'll probably just sleep in it and wash it off in the morning, so I'll get back to you in the morning. Good morning! It is the next day. I am looking so brown. Oh my god, the colour of this tan is just absolutely stunning. My hands actually look really nice. I haven't messed up on them. I think the brush just really, really helps. Oh my god, I literally love this tan. It's so pretty. I like to have my face a little bit paler than the rest of my body just because I think that looks a little bit more natural because when you get a natural tan, your face is never as dark as your actual body. So this is the after. It looks really, really lovely. The colour of it is so nice. I'm going to go and have a shower and take all of my pink curls out because honestly, this gets a little bit itchy after you've slept in it all night. So I can't wait to take them all out. And then I'm probably going to do a little face mask or something like that just to brighten my skin. I've had a few breakouts recently because I just got my period, it's literally just finished, so my skin is like recovering. And I like to do a little face mask just to make my skin look all nice and glowy. So I'll chat to you in a little bit. Okay, I've just taken my hair out, it looks lovely, it looks so curly and bouncy, it's like the perfect blow dry. I'm so happy with it, it's got so much volume. I haven't had my hair big for ages because I just haven't had a reason to because we've not been going out anywhere. So I've not been bothering, but oh my god, I love when my hair is all big and bouncy like this. I'm gonna put some hair spray in to make sure it holds. So now that I've hairsprayed it, that should hold. And the curls usually drop out really nicely over the next few days. Like they just really gradually go out and it just looks like a loose blow dry. So it's one of those hairstyles that just like keeps going. This headband is just so useful because it keeps all my hair out my face, but I don't have to tie it up so it doesn't like mess with the curls or anything like that. 
face mask I'm using is this one from Sand and Sky. It is amazing. I love it. It makes your skin just look like so like plump and juicy and glowing. I literally love this face mask. It's one of the best ones I have ever used. I'm just gonna leave this on for 10 minutes while I go and make myself coffee and drink it and then I'll wash it off. My skin will be all glowing and gorgeous and I'll get on with my makeup. I'm trying to pick what type of makeup to do today. I'm thinking maybe like a smoky eye because I haven't done that for a really long time. But I usually like that more when I've got my brown contacts in. I don't have any contacts right now because they've all dried up and I'm not being able to obviously go anywhere to get new ones. So I don't know what type of makeup to do. Okay, so I've just washed my face, got my face mask off, I'm going to pop some of my new serum on. This is from Sand and Sky as well, it's their Australian Emu Apple Dreamy Glow Drops and I love putting this on underneath makeup because it's just one of those things that makes your makeup go on really, really nicely. Like, you know those moisturisers that just make your face look really pretty once you put the makeup on top? It's one of those, it just makes the makeup sit really nicely. Literally one of my favourite products ever i actually feel like whitening my teeth today so i'm actually gonna stick some of my whitening stuff into my braces because i lost the trays and they're just not as white as they were i don't know if you're supposed to do that but it works Okay, so my makeup's all done and I think you can see what I mean when I say my eyes look really like when I have dark smoky makeup on. Like I feel like it just looks better on brown eyes and that blue eyes really struggle to pull off dark colours like this because it just makes my eyes look really piercing. And I think it looks a little bit creepy. Like my eyes just look so blue, like so, so blue. Looks a little bit weird. A little bit weird, tiny bit weird. In my opinion it does anyway slight problem i don't know where lou has put my black jeans so i've got some more out there outfits i've got some more casual ones i've got my outfit choices ready so let's do a little bit of a fashion show i'm gonna take my hair out so that it doesn't look balmy and you can actually get the vibe my first dress is from house of cb this is actually my birthday present from lou love this dress it's beautiful literally stunning love it it's like a princess dress i think it's the cutest thing in the world let's try it on okay so this is outfit option number one i really like it i think it's so pretty i love the neckline on this i just think it's like so princessy and it's just so flattering the bust is so pretty the little buttons down the front i just love how flowy it is it's really really feminine and it's definitely like it's just one of those dresses that just make you feel really like womanly and confident and just i love it i think it's so pretty i think it's the cutest thing ever i love this detail here i think it's so nice i think i'd put like my pearl necklace on with it as well which would just look gorgeous i literally love this dress and these shoes i make a star wedges i love this outfit so much so this is outfit option number two this is definitely the most casual of all of them i really really love this outfit i'm just wearing my dior slingbacks i got the black fabric ones just because they were scuffless they're easier to wear and you don't have to worry about the leather getting scratched i love these shoes i think they're the cutest thing ever and then i've got my levi jeans on which are lovely i love these jeans are the 7-elevens they're low-waisted i don't like high-waist jeans i don't think they're very flattering and then trying this top which is actually new to me but old top shop so this top i had when i was about 15 16 maybe um and i lost it and i saw this on depop the other day and i was like oh my god i love that top i've got to get it so it's just this really pretty blue shimmery halter neck literally love it i think it's so like i mean it's just like a really nice outfit without having to try too much it's literally just a classic jeans and a nice top look and i just think it is so pretty i think it is the cutest outfit definitely a lot more casual but i still absolutely love it my next option is this one it's this beautiful dress from zara it's got a really nice v-neck which i think is really pretty and it's got this like detailing i don't know if you can see it underneath the bust and it's got these like stripes down the front of it. it's almost like you see your face on in the light it's almost like suit vibes it's really really pretty 
and then I've just stuck on some Jimmy Choo's with it. These are my new, well, vintage but new to me Jimmy Choo's, which I literally love. They're the Melody style, like, they just look like butterflies on your feet. I think they're so pretty. And this is my next outfit option. I do really like this one. Um, I'm a little bit bloated right now because my period's just gone, but when I'm not, it looks a little bit nicer on me. I feel a little bit more confident in it. Um, and I definitely do like this dress, it's really, really pretty and definitely classy i do i do like this dress this is definitely a contender and this is my last dress choice i've got my same jimmy shoes on because it's got some silver glitter on that matches the glitter in the dress i literally love this dress i think it is so pretty i wore it on new year's eve um i got it on sale at h&m and it's just the cutest thing it's kind of like 20s looking with like this design it's got an open back detail i think it's just so pretty literally love it the only thing i'm a little bit iffy about is the sides stick out a little bit do you know if you can see the difference if you pull that back the sides kind of go in nicer like if you pull the top of it like that the sides like pull in and it just looks a little bit more flattering and i feel like it might be a little bit too much it's more of like a night out dress than a night in dress so they are all of my outfit choices i am so stuck on what to wear so please leave a comment below letting me know which one that you like the best and which one you would wear I'm not particularly doing anything but i still want to get dressed up because it is my birthday so i want to wear a nice outfit and feel all pretty <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much to Coco and Eve for sponsoring. All of the links will be in the description to the products that I've mentioned today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye.